Now uh, we will finish some examples uh, from the last lesson that we couldn't finish last time, uh, lesson 13. <clears throat> and uh, we were trying some uh, numeric uh, expressions uh, in Bash. Uh, let's see another example. Uh, this is a for loop, but it is a C style for. Uh, we have seen it last time. And then uh, in the body of the loop, we, we have this command echo. And uh, then uh, this is one, number one. And this is a bitwise uh, shift, shift left. So uh, we are shifting uh, one on the, on the left uh, first zero times, and then uh, once Sorry, I don't see anything. I see just you. Uh, I have uh, been share. I have shared the screen. Uh, don't don't you see in the big blue button? Uh, no, I just see yourself. Uh, let me stop sharing and share again. Yeah. Okay. Is it okay? Okay. Yes. Uh, so uh, we have a for loop here. It is a C style for, and then uh, inside the loop, we have this echo command, and uh, we echo or we print this uh, expression. So these double uh, uh, parentheses are used for an arithmetic expression. So this is an arithmetic expression. And this is an operator, which is a shift left operator. So first we shift uh, one zero times, and then we shift it once. And uh, we had one, uh, uh, one, we had a, a zero at the end. And then we shift it twice, and then uh, three times, and so on. But uh, this is a binary uh, number, because th this is a bitwise, bitwise uh, operator and so uh, what we are getting here are the powers of uh, two. We get the, the powers of two. So like uh, this operate operator, there there is another one which is shift right, uh, which is a bit bitwise operator. It shifts all the bits of the number on the on the right and discards the, the last one. Uh, and uh, there are some other bitwise operators uh, as well like uh, this one, which is a bitwise AND, and this is a bitwise OR. It is used between two numbers, but it makes uh, an OR bit by bit. And uh, also, this is a bit, bitwise XOR, or ex exclusive OR. And Inside arithmetic expressions, we can also use uh, the normal uh, the normal comparison operators. For example, this is uh, greater, smaller, uh, smaller, or uh, greater or equal, smaller or equal, and uh, we can also, or this is for example uh, different or not not equal, and we can also use logical operators between. Uh, uh, two logical expressions. For example, this is and, and uh, this is or, and uh, this is not. And uh, there is also uh, a, ter a ternary, ternary operator, uh, which is uh, like this.
So uh, it is similar to the one in uh, C language. So uh, the first expression is a Boolean uh, expression, and uh, if it if it is non-zero, which means true in arithmetic uh, expressions, then ex uh, the second expression is uh, executed. Otherwise, uh, the third expression is exec executed. There, there is something to be uh, uh, noted uh, with arithmetic expressions that uh, they, uh, in arithmetic expressions, uh, non-zero is true and zero is false. But uh, in Bash, we have seen that uh, zero return, uh, if the return code of a command is zero, it means su successful or similar to true. And if it is something different from zero, it means failure. Uh, if a, a return code is different from zero, it means uh, it is an error. So uh, this one, uh, since it is different from zero, and uh, this is this is an arithmetic expression, it means true, and uh, the, uh, this arithmetic expression converts it to success uh, for the if uh, command. So the, this uh, uh, command is executed echo true, and here we have uh, zero inside an arithmetic uh, expression, and it means false. Let's see an example with the ternary operator. For example, if the variable a is equal to zero, and uh, we have an expression like this. There's something, uh, something wrong. Uh, uh, I've added this extra character here, extra column. So. Uh, it evaluates this expression. A is initially zero. Uh, is it less than one? Uh, true, yes. So uh, this plus, plus plus A is uh, executed. So if we uh, show the content of the variable A, uh, now it is one. And if we execute again this expression, uh, now A is one. Is it less than one? No, it is false. So uh, this minus minus A uh, is executed. Uh, this expression. And so if we take the content of uh, this variable, it is zero again. And uh, we can we can do it like this, for example, a and the assignment operator, we give a value to uh the variable a and then we have this dollar sign this dollar sign means that uh it will execute this uh, arithmetic expression expression inside the double parenthesis and uh, the result will be uh, returned uh, as the value and we can also use for example a plus one and
let's see an example. Uh, skip. So this is a script to demonstrate arithmetic operators. First of all, we have a variable finished, which is uh, given the initial value of zero. And we also have this variable A, which is initialized to zero. Then we print some uh, headers, uh, two lines as headers. Uh, this slash T is for tab. And the, uh, the rest is just text. Uh, and we have an until loop, until finished. Now uh, this will run on, uh, until this becomes uh, true. Uh, this become, uh, this is true if it is uh, different than zero. Initially it is not uh, true because it is zero and it will become true when uh, it becomes uh, zero. And we do this uh, loop inside. B, this is A to the power of two. And this is A to the power of three. Uh, then we have a, a print F, which means uh, print formatted with the format. This is the format uh, that will be printed. Uh, this is a, a digit and then a tab and then another digit. And this will be uh, replaced in the first digit, in the, in the first placeholder, and uh, this in the second, and this in the third placeholder. And then uh, we make a check here. Is A less than 10? Uh, if yes, then we increment A by, by one. Uh, otherwise, so if A becomes 10 or greater than 10, uh, becomes 10, then uh, we uh, say finished uh, gets the value one, and then this will stop the, the loop. So basically we start with A equal to zero, and then we increment A uh, one by one, and we calculate A uh, square and A uh, to, the, uh, to the third power. And uh, we print these values. So we are printing the uh, squares and the cubes uh, up, to, up to 10. So uh, these are the two uh, lines that are uh, printed at the beginning and the rest is printed by, uh, by the loop. Uh, in BARS, uh, we can use the program PC, uh, which is a, a calculator, uh, or it does arithmetic uh, operations. Uh, and we can use it to calculate the value of arithmetic expressions. Uh, for example, if I run uh, BC, uh, I get, uh, I should get a prompt. And then I can type an arithmetic expression, I press enter and it gives the result. And it goes like this. I type an, type an expression, it gives the result, etc. cetera. Uh, but uh, I can also give uh, input from the, here document like, like this. And it will uh, calculate this expression and it will print the, the result. So uh, th it, this uh, makes it like uh, it gets input from standard input. And so it is the same in, uh, as printing it, uh, as typing from the keyboard here. And this can be useful in scripts to calculate expressions. And we can also do it like this, echo. We send uh, the, the arithmetic expression by pipe to the command BC and again, it will uh, calculate the result. Let's, let's see a script that uses BC to do some calculations. So it calculates a monthly loan uh, payments. Uh, so we have the usage uh, first uh, as a function. So the usage is that it gets three numbers, uh, principal, interest, interest and uh, months. 
principal is the amount of the loan, interest is the uh, percentage of the uh, interest, and uh, the month is the number of months that will be uh, calculated the loan. So first we check that the number of arguments, uh, if the number of arguments arguments is different from three, then uh, we print the usage message and uh, exit with an error. And then we get the positional arguments uh, and save them to these variables, principal, interest, and uh, months. Then we use these variables uh, in, the, in this expression uh, or in, in this calculation, which is sent uh, as input with here a uh, document uh, to, to the BC, to the calculator. So this is an, like an arithmetic uh, expression. Uh, we have another variable scale, which gets the value uh, 10. Uh, and then variable I, which gets uh, this and so on. And, and at the end, we have this uh, complex expression. So let, let's try this uh, skit with, with some uh, argu arguments. This is the amount of the loan. This is the uh, percentage of the uh, interest, and this is the, the number of months, and then uh, it gives the result. For more information about uh, the command BC, we can look at the manual uh, uh, page and, or with the command info. Now let's start with uh, arrays. The arrays are, are a bit cryptic uh, in in Bash. Uh, they uh, they have a strange uh, syntax and look a little bit ugly. But uh, if you get used to them, it is okay. So with this with this example, uh, I am assigning the value foo as a string to the first position in the array. A. So arrays are variables that can hold uh, several values. Uh, in Bash, they are only one dimensional, not uh, multi dimensional, uh, like uh, in other uh, more advanced programming languages. And uh, to get, get the value of the uh, first item in the array A, uh, we can do it like this. So basically, this is like the name of the variable, and uh, we we have to enclose it in curly braces uh, because otherwise these uh, parentheses will be interpreted by the shell and uh, will be misinterpreted by, by the shell as something else. And uh, we can also create an array with uh, this operator uh, with the parentheses, and uh, we can. Uh, write several values inside. So I've created an array with uh, this uh, name and it contains these values uh, inside. Let's check the value of the first uh, 
item or the value that is stored in the first position. The first position starts in, at index zero, zero as uh, it is usually in programming languages. For example, at the second position, Monday. And if we instead use a star instead uh, for the index, then uh, it will actually return all, all the values of the array. array. And uh, what, what happens if uh, we remove this curly basis? Uh, this is a bit strange, uh, and we will understand why it uh, it is like this. Uh, it happens because uh, it the bash considers this one as the uh, name of the variable that is going to be printed, and then it appends this one as a, a normal string to it. Uh, for example, if we do it like this, so it will uh, print only this one with. Uh, Without the uh, appended string. In bash, uh, in bash arrays, uh, if we don't give an, an index to the name of the array, uh, by default it prints the first uh, item, or it accesses the first item in the array. So the first item in this array is uh, sun, and uh, that's why it is uh, it prints it. Another uh, way to, or another syntax to uh, to declare an array and to give it a value uh, is this one. We can say that at index zero, uh, we give this value. At index one, we give uh, this value. At index uh, For example, this value at index three, index two, which is the third item, uh, we give this value, for example. And let's print all the values of the array. So uh, even though we uh, gave this item before uh, this one, uh, actually this one is di is displayed first because it has an index a lower index. And it is also possible uh, to to show the indexes, I think. So with this uh, syntax, we show the uh, indexes uh, of the array. Let, let's see uh, an example, a script example. Uh, we are at lesson 15. Uh, we should move at uh, the examples of lesson lesson 14. And uh, the examples are at user local example. Lesson 14. And you should copy them like this. I have a network problem. It's not. It's not working. What's going on? I probably I pressed something wrong.
and used to copy them uh, in the current directory or in the home directory. I've already copied them, so I, I'm going to this uh, directory. And now this example with, uh, which uses arrays. So it says, uh, this is a script to count files by modification time. So uh, what does it mean by modification time? Uh, how, many, how many files uh, have been modified in the first hour of the day? How many files have been modified on the second hour, on the second hour of, of the day? And so on, for each hour of the day. And uh, from the uh, message in the usage, uh, we, we see that uh, it gets as argument a directory. So it is called with a, with a directory as an argument. And uh, here we initialize an array. So for i in uh, this range from 0 to 23, uh, we do hours i uh, gets the value 0. So for each hour, we initialize, uh, we initialize it, uh, the number of files that are modified in this uh, hour as uh, 0. Then collect, uh, collect data. So this is the directory, which is given in the first argument. And uh, here are all the files uh, in the directory uh, with this star at the end. And uh, with this command start, we get, uh, we get the modification times. Uh, with, this, with this command start with uh, uh, these options, we get the modification times for all the files. For example, Uh, we get the modification times uh, of all the files in the current uh, directory uh, with, the, with this command. And uh, let, let's say that we want to get the hour uh, from, from this uh, data. Then we can get the hour with uh, this command cut, see. Let, let me check two, four, five. Seven, eight, ten, eleven. Maybe it's twelve, thirteen. So uh, we get the character twelve and thirteen from uh, all uh, all these uh, lines uh, with the help of command cut. So with this option, we uh, count characters from 12 to, to, to 13. And uh, this is the modification hour of, of the file. So uh, here we have all the modification uh, times for all the files in the given directory, and for each uh, for each time for each uh, hour. So this i gets uh, the value of an hour. For example, 12, 13, 14, uh, which is uh, the hour in which uh, a file was modified. Here, uh, we, we remove a leading zero, if there is a leading zero from, from the hour. And then we uh, increment uh, the, the number of files that are modified in this hour. And then we also uh, keep a count that we uh, increment. The, this count counts all the all the files that are uh, in this directory. 
And so when this loop is ended, then uh, in this array, we will have uh, for each hour, how many files have, have been modified in that hour. And uh, then we display the, the data with uh, this loop here. And we display the data from the from, from the array, how, hours, hours. First of all, we display uh, two header lines, and then uh, the rest with the with this loop. And here, uh, I get the values from zero to eleven, and uh, we have J, which gets the values from twelve to twenty-four because we add 20, uh, twelve to each value of the i and uh, we display them in parallel in two columns uh, we display uh, the hour i and then the number of files modified in this hour and then the hour j and then the number of files modified in this hour and then finally finally we print the total number of files uh, le let's try it with the directory First, it displays the usage. It, it uh, requires a directory. And so we give a directory and then it uh, give, displays this result. So uh, at one o'clock, there are 18 files that have been modified. Uh, for example, at four o'clock, there are 49 files that have been modified. And then uh, we again display uh, the hours in in uh, in these two parallel uh, col columns, and the total number of files is uh, this one. Let's see another uh, example with uh, with arrays. So uh, this array has three uh, values because we are using double quotes uh, since uh, the values have uh, empty lines inside. Now we will try to print uh, all the values of the array with a for loop. I forgot a do here for do. So we see that uh, if uh, we use this star uh, as index, uh, this will return all the values of the array, but uh, they will be returned uh, as a string. And so uh, this for for i gets the words of the string one by one. Uh, it gets first. Uh, an A and then a dog and then an A and then a cat and then uh, print, print them uh, one by one. Uh, if we use as index this one, again, it is uh, the same thing. Uh, let's try to use double quotes. Now uh, we see that we have only one value because uh, this double quote uh, encloses the string that is returned uh, returned by uh, this expression. Uh, so we enclose it in double quote, and uh, this for i finds only one string to print. 
And uh, if instead we use double quotes with uh, this expression, then in this case uh, we get the correct correct result. Uh, so we print uh, all the uh, items of, of the array one by one. And if uh, you remember from another uh, lesson, then we have also seen that uh, positional uh, parameters or the positional arguments uh, can be accessed with uh, these expressions, all of them, all the positional uh, parameters. And the, uh, their behavior is similar to this one that we have seen with the arrays. And so uh, the the best way to access positional parameters is this one, the same as in the case of the uh, of the arrays, uh, since it gives uh, the uh, the most correct uh, result in all the cases, even in cases when uh, the arguments have to be enclosed in double quotes because they contain uh, empty spaces. So uh, there is a, there are some similarities uh, and. Uh, this shows that uh, this usage of uh, accessing uh, positional parameters is like an array. The number of uh, array elements can be accessed with a special syntax. For example, uh, right now we have The, this array A uh, has this uh, this item. Uh, let's set let's add another item to it. And see the content. Uh, now, if uh, we use this expression uh, with with hash in front of it. This, this will print the number of items uh, in the array. And uh, if instead we use this one, uh, this actually is the item with index 100. And so uh, this one will print the length of uh, the value of this variable. So uh, this will return uh, bar, this one bar, and uh, with this hash in front, it will print the length of uh, this string, uh, which is three, three characters uh, long. So the correct, the correct uh, usage to, uh, for printing the number of items of an array is this one. And uh, we, I've also shown it before, but let's uh, see again how to access the uh, indexes of an array. So uh, these foo and uh, bar are the values of the array, and uh, we can we can print them with a for loop like this. But uh, if uh, we use this syntax in instead, if uh, we uh, add an excl exclamation point, then uh, this one will return all the indexes of the array. And so the indexes of our array are uh, 0 and 100.
let's see how to append uh, some more elements to an existing array. So we have this array. It contains these uh, elements. And now we append these items to this array. And if we show the all the items of the array, we see that uh, now it contains uh, also the extra items that we appended. So we can append items with uh, syntax like, like this. If uh, we want, uh, if uh, we need to sort an array, there is no special syntax for sorting uh, the items of an array, but it is uh, easy to do. It can be done easily with uh, the existing tools of the bash. For example, in this script, we sort an, an array. Uh, we give this value to this array, which is, uh, and the items are not sorted. And then we print all the items of the array with uh, this syntax for i in this do echo. I, we have seen this. And uh, all the printed items are passed to sort. And sort uh, will order them. Uh, and then uh, these, these parentheses uh, with uh, the values that are returned by this uh, command, by the execution of this command will generate a new uh, array. And this array is, is assigned to, to this variable. And then uh, at the end, we, all, we print also the sorted array. So original array is this one and the sorted one is this one. And it can be done in different ways. This is one way of uh, doing it. For example, another way, is this one. We echo uh, all the values of the array. So this uh, will uh, return all the values of the array and we echo them. And then we translate the empty space with a new line. And then uh, we pass this to uh, to sort. Now, why do we have to trans to uh, replace empty spaces with a, a new line? Because uh, sort, uh, the command sort can sort the lines of uh, the input or the lines of a file. It, it does not sort the words in a line. So uh, we have to convert the output of this command to lines. So each item in, in a, a separate line and then we sort them. And then uh, when these, the, the result of this command is returned, then the, the new lines are, are converted automatically to, ent to empty spaces. And then with uh, this parenthesis, it will be converted to an array, uh, which is assigned to, to this variable. And it gives again the same result. To delete an item of an array or to delete the whole array, we can use the command unset. Uh, for example, we have this array and uh, we say unset. And then uh, we use index one to refer to the second item of the array. Let's see, uh, let's print again all the items of the array. Oops. Uh, it doesn't work like this. Uh, we have to do it 
like this because when we unset a variable we give the name of the variable uh, without dollar when, uh, so unset uh, get the name of the variable without a dollar and uh, since the name of uh, the variable contains this uh, uh, this brackets that uh, can be misinterpreted by the shell we we are using uh, single quotes to to uh, to, to, give, to give this name uh, as a string. So uh, the second item has been uh, deleted. And we can also unset the whole array like this. So we give the name without, without a dollar. And try again. It is empty. There is, there is no such array. Uh, in Bash, there can be also associate, uh, associative uh, arrays. Associative arrays uh, are arrays that uh, use strings and uh, as index. Uh, instead of integers and they can be created with a declare command like this declare capital a for as associative and let's say that the name of the array is colors then colors we give a value colors uh, blue or green and blue If we uh, want to get an item, you can access it like this. Colors. And as an index, we use the string. For example, and uh, if we want to print all the items, maybe again as uh, the normal array. Now uh, let's let's pass to another topic, uh, which which are group commands and uh, sub shells, and proce process of substitution. Group commands are like this. Uh, Uh, so we enclose several commands with uh, curly braces, and uh, after each command, uh, we use a semicolon uh, to separate it from the next col column. And also after the last command, we have to uh, use a semicolon. Yeah. And uh, we should include an empty space, uh, or we should separate by empty space the curly braces from the commands, otherwise it can be misinterpreted. So uh, this is a group of uh, commands. Uh, it is actually like uh, like a no-name function or lambda function. Uh, for example, if you know in Python or uh, in Lisp, there are lambda functions or no-name functions, also in, uh, in JavaScript as well. So a normal function will be Declared like this, uh, a name and then uh, the body of the function, which is a group of commands. But uh, if uh, there is no there is no function name, then uh, this will be a non-name function. As soon as it is uh, declared, it, it is also uh, executed. And usually, 
the groups of commands are, are used to uh, to collect the output uh, of uh, several commands. For example, Let's uh, use several commands. And then uh, we can redirect the output from all of these commands to, to a file. So we see that uh, this is the output from the first command, lsr, and then uh, this is the output from the second command, and this is the output from the from the third uh, command. And uh, the same thing can be done also with uh, this, which, which is, uh, which is a, a subshell. There is a difference between a group of commands and uh, subshell, and uh, we, we will see it later. Basically, uh, this sub subshell starts another uh, process or another bash instance and to execute these commands. Uh, this is why it's, it is called a subshell. Uh, while this one uh, executes this command in, in the same uh, instance of bash that we are running. So it is like calling a function, like calling a function which uh, runs in the same uh, environment, bash environment. And uh, we can send the output from the group command also with pipe to another command. So it will collect the output of all the commands and uh, send it to pipe to, to another command, for, for example, like this. Let's, let's see an example. This collects some information from the given directory and uh, displays, the, displays it in the screen. And it also uses arrays. Use arrays to, to tally uh, file owners. So first we declare some associ associative arrays. Uh, and the names of these arrays are, are files, file group, uh, file owner, uh, groups, and owners. Uh, the usage shows that we need to call this script with a directory as an argument. And then uh, for each item in the directory or for each file in the directory, uh, we get the owner with the command uh, stat with uh, this uh, option. And we get the group as well. And then in the array files, we uh, keep the file name itself. 
So we use as an index the file name, and uh, we also uh, use a, as a value the file uh, the file name. And then in the array file owner uh, with index file name, uh, we store the owner of the file, uh, and then in the array file group we store the group of the file. So. Uh, Bash does not have uh, multi-dimensional arrays, but by using several uh, arrays with the same index, we can achieve the same uh, result or similar uh, result. And then uh, in the array owners uh, with index owner, we uh, make an in increment. So increment, we increment the files that are owned by this owner. And we also increment the files that are owned uh, by uh, this group, by this group. And once we have collected this information, uh, we will display it. This is the collected files. So this has a list of all the files. For all uh, the files in this array, uh, we'll, we'll print uh, uh, the file itself. Uh, the file owner and the file group. And we have several printf commands, which are run inside uh, this for loop. But because we are uh, using uh, this uh, group command, the output of all, uh, all of these printf commands will be collected and will be passed through pipe to the sort uh, command to be sort. And the same is for uh, file owners. In this case, we use this array owners, but uh, we are in the, uh, we are getting all the indexes of this array. Uh, with the, with this uh, exclamation point, we we get all the indexes all the indexes of this array owners, and then uh, we use the index to to get the values here. And again, the same for file group. Let's try it again. So actually there is only one owner uh, and it owns this many files uh, and the groups are this one. Uh, this group has this many uh, files. Let's try with another directory, for example, with the current directory. So it displays a list of all the files, uh, the owner and the group, and uh, then uh, the, the file owners, only one owner and only one uh, group, which has 15 files. Now, I think that the, the time is up, but uh, we, have, we have not reached yet uh, even uh, in the middle of the lesson. Uh, what do you propose to do? Uh, should we uh, stop here and uh, uh, do another lesson tomorrow or maybe another lesson uh, next, next week? Uh, this was supposed to be the, the last lesson uh, of the course, but uh, actually there are lots of uh, things in this lesson and we could not finish it, them, all of them in one hour. So let me check also the questions here. Gerian is uh, writing, what will happen if we have duplicate values, values and do, uh, what's this, mine, Uh, Gerian, I don't understand uh, the, the question. What, what is this uh, character? Uh, minus or underscore, underscore equal, I don't know. What, what is minus?
So uh, what will happen if we have duplicate, duplicate uh, values and do uh, minus equal uh, duplicate char? Uh, you mean to remove values from an array? So with uh, with plus and uh, equal. Okay, so uh, with uh, this operator, we uh, appended values to an array. Do we have a value, uh, an operator for removing uh, values from an array? Uh, I'm not sure, I've, I've never tried it, uh, but uh, we can try it uh, right now. I'm not, I don't think uh, it is going to, to work, but let's try it. For example, the array A uh, has these values. Let's print. Uh, let's print all the values of the array. So uh, let's try. For example, two and three. So uh, this is not a supported sy syntax. You can append values to an array, but you cannot remove values from an array with uh, such a syntax. Uh, you can only remove values, for example, uh, by index. Uh, for example, unset. Uh, sorry, uh, we and we have to enclose it with in, in quotes. So this will this will remove this value from the array uh, in the, the value in the position. Of and uh, le let's say that uh, you want to remove all the all the values uh, that are equal to three. In, in this case, uh, we can do some tricks like uh, the ones that we did for sorting. For example, this will print all the values of the array, and then uh, we can pass it to tr with uh, the command d. It will delete. It will delete all the values that are equal to three. And so uh, we get as a result this one. Uh, now we can enclose this into this. Let's try it with echo. So we get it. Now we can assign this to another value, uh, to another array, for example, a1 equal, and then we use this. Uh, array uh, constructor. Now, if we try to show all the values of this array, you will see that all the uh, values that are equal to three are removed. So there, there is no special operator for removing uh, all the values of a certain, uh, all, all, the, uh, very, all the items that have a certain value from an array, but uh, we can uh, make it, we, we can fix it by using uh, the other tools that uh, we know, similar to the case of uh, sort. So uh, Diego says that uh, is, is okay one more lesson. Yes, we can do uh, one more lesson, but uh, either tomorrow at the same time or uh, the next week, what, what do you suggest? Either, okay, okay. I, I would prefer to do it uh, tomorrow at uh, the same week at, uh, at the same uh, time. So from uh, from uh, from seven to eight. Okay, then uh, then see you tomorrow. Bye.